Brian McFadden is here. Hi, mate. How you doing? Good. Are you all right? I'm all right. Good Boy stuff. from Dublin. Yeah. <laughs> you were born in Dublin, weren't you? I was born yeah. in Dublin. And I, I lived in Dublin until I was 17. Yeah. And then moved with Westlife to everywhere else. <laughs> everywhere around <laughs> everywhere the world. Else, yeah. Well, we've got the new album out now, yeah. um, The Irish Connection. Yeah. And uh, you've decided to cover a few of the Irish classics. This is the whole album is, is a kind of a tribute to my favourite Irish artists and songwriters from Van Morris and U2. So, you know, older artists like mm. that from when I was growing up to the ones who kind of who kind of mould what music is in Ireland now, like Snow Patrol and Damien Rice. Yep. Um, and, I've, and I've got a duet with Sinead O'Connor on there and, and with Ronan Keaton. Yep. A few of my friends came on it. So it's just a little celebration of Irish music. And because this uh, isn't your original material, um, and it's probably a stupid question thinking about it now, but it, it, was it easier to put this album together? Yeah, it took 10 days. Right. I, re I recorded it in 10 days. As compared was... to... Two years, maybe. Okay. Because, you know, I'll write songs for a year and a half and then there's probably six months of kind of cutting that down and trying different production styles and figuring out how the whole album's going to sound. With this, uh, you know, it was literally just myself, my partner Rob in the studio and uh, I played all the instruments on it and then I had my friend Ray Thistleway from Thirsty Merc. He came in and played some piano and put some bass on it. It was literally just the three of us in 10 days did the whole record. Uh, and then I went over to Ireland, recorded the, the three vocals for the duets mm -hmm. and got it mixed and mastered and that was it okay so it was a very quick process you know and but when you're when you're covering songs like these you don't you don't mess with them too much because they're you know classic songs these songs so there's no real thinking about it it's just getting in there and having fun with it and you've probably seen it a number of times doing a um you know being a judge on a talent show people mm -hmm. just ruining yeah songs. you don't you know i didn't really the only song that i really kind of took a challenge on was the enya song i changed the time signature of that and made it a little bit sound more like me but the rest the rest was actually more just stripping back of anything like the Van Morrison song you don't mess with Moondance you know mm. um, so we just kind of took out instruments and just had it a little bit more simplified and Sinead O'Connor's Nothing Compares to You just a piano you know so it was more just performing it vocally than, than messing with the production wise Okay and you're, uh, you've are you just wrapped up a tour with Ronan Keating mm -hmm. how did that, that go? Brilliant. What's it like working with Ronan? It's great you know we're friends for a long time me and Ronan yeah. so being on, being on tour with a friend is good and and all his crew and all my crew you know, we've worked with all the same people our whole career so you know, I knew everyone on the road and, and it was just, it was like a little family of people on the road that knew each other. So we had a lot of fun and every night there was, there was always someone there to have a beer with. And, and I heard you just you just pick on him the whole time in, yeah. in your show. Well, that's it, it's Greg. <laughs> I go on first, so I just slag around and, um, and just set him up. No, but it's good. It's all in, in good taste, yeah. you know. And uh, now that the tour is finished, what's next for Brian McFadden? Uh, my own tour back in the UK again. I'm going yeah. back pretty much the tour we've just done. I'm going to go do the same cities again, but on my own yeah. uh, and start building up a, a touring um momentum because I haven't toured in, in, in the UK it's been nine years until this Ronan tour uh, so I want to tour in Europe and tour in Asia and maybe South America as well I want to just spend the whole year pretty much just doing live shows okay and television opportunities you're sort of over that now or do, do you want to get I'm something not over going it. again no I'm not over it if the right thing came along mm -hmm. I would definitely listen to it but um, you know when, I, when AGT ended I didn't go in to meet networks and try and get a job I kind of I, I was I was happy that I was taking a break from television and going back into music uh, you know, there's always people around me that will want me to go back into TV because it's mm -hmm. good money and they want to get paid. So yep. <laughs> they'll always be encouraging it. But me personally, I'm, you know, unless it was something that I really wanted to sink my teeth into, I wouldn't be bothered really. Yep. Okay. Well, we look forward to what's ahead. Loving the new album. It's out now. Brian McFadden, thanks for being on the show.